very much, Eric. It, it, is, it is very, very sad that we're here in the city that's uh, really the birthplace of our democracy. And this is among one of the most anti-democratic things I've ever seen or encountered. And it's not just here in, 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 Phil, in Philadelphia. This is going on all over the country. Uh, we have filed a lawsuit. The lawsuit actually required that when these mail-in ballots that you know are highly suspicious anyway, this form of balloting has always been considered the most prone to fraud. That's according to the New York Times when it didn't apply to candidate President Trump. Well, we were supposed to be allowed by law to observe the counting of the ballots. Now, observe means to any intelligent person being able to look at it. The way it's interpreted by the Democrat crooked machine of Philadelphia is that the observers can be 20 or 30 feet away, never able to see the ballot itself, never able to see if it was properly postmarked, properly addressed, properly signed on the outside. All the things that often lead to disqualification of ballots or make it very easy to dump 50,000 totally fraudulent ballots because they're not observed. This went on for 20 hours while all of you thought there was some kind of legitimate count going on here in Philadelphia. It was totally illegitimate. So we went back to court and we went before a Democrat judge. No need to tell you what the result in Philadelphia is if you're before a Democrat judge. Obviously a political hack who doesn't know the meaning of the word observe. Observe means to be able to look. Not a single Republican has been able to look at any one of these mail ballots. They could be from Mars as far as we're concerned. Or they could be from the Democratic National Committee. Joe Biden could have voted 50 times as far as we know, or 5,000 times. The ballots could be from Camden. Philadelphia, unfortunately, and I would say this about my own city, has a reputation for voter fraud. You have a reputation for dead people voting, and we're going to go look at just how many dead people voted here. I didn't think we'd have to do that, but we will. And you have a reputation for people being busted in from Camden voting here. Wouldn't be the first time that happened. But this goes way beyond any of that. And let me also add that this isn't happening just here. We have exactly the same lawsuit in Wisconsin where exactly the same thing happened. Except in Wisconsin, mysteriously, at 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning, about 120,000 ballots appeared. <laughs> oh, here come these ballots. Well, we have no idea if they really are ballots. We have no idea if they're signed, if they're postmarked properly, if it isn't just the same person who submitted 100,000 ballots, and they all got counted. This is the way they intend to win. Now I'm informed by former Congressman Sweeney, who's been going around the country and collecting this information, that similar situation in Arizona, Similar situation in Nevada, and a similar situation. What am I missing, John? Where are you? In, in Michigan, in Detroit, Michigan. Again, let me be specific. What it is? This whole new thing that never happened before in our country. These mail-in ballots, which has been a cause of real concern for everyone, because they can easily be fraudulent. Well, one of the things that the law attaches to that is the right for both parties to observe the ballot the way we do with absentee ballots. You make certain it's properly signed. On the outside, there's a signature. You make sure that it's properly postmarked. You make sure, it, you make sure that it's uh, properly addressed, and then you pass on it. A number of these are often challenged by the Democrat representative or the Republican representative. <laughs> we never got a chance to look at a single one of them. The gentleman here who, was, who, who did this for us says about 100,000 ballots went through that process in the 20 plus hours in which they wasted his time by not allowing him to see a single ballot. Well, that's 120,000 ballots that should be just, just be taken out of the count. So you want to look at that number, that 120,000 should come out. And this is an area in which Biden is getting 60, 70 percent of the vote. I don't know if I, I don't know if this is going on any other place. But it is going on in enough, with enough frequency in Wisconsin that we've brought suit, 
and now we'll have to look into three other places. What it says to me is this is a concerted effort of the crooks that run the Democrat Party. And you know these big city machines are crooked. You know that. 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 100 years of one party rule leads to corruption of all kinds. Voter fraud is one of the biggest because that's how you keep your power. But we're not going to let them get away with it. They're not going to steal this election. This election gets decided by the people. These people, the elite, they don't care about the people. The people are the deplorables, the chumps. You know, they're not important. To President Trump, he's the whole reason that he ran for office. And he's the whole reason for which he's carrying on this campaign. So that your vote can mean something. So that your vote doesn't get wiped out by a hundred thousand fraudulent, meaningless paper ballots that no one gets to observe. So we are going to continue the lawsuit here. We're going to bring a second one. And then we're going to bring a federal lawsuit. And we're going to take a very good look at whether we bring this nationally. We certainly are going to bring it here and in Wisconsin. Quite possibly, we'll do a national lawsuit and really expose the corruption of the Democrat Party. But this is beyond anything I've ever seen before. This comes when you think you have so much power and you own the media that you can do anything you want. Well, sorry. We're going to fight for the people. We're going to vindicate their right. And the ultimate result is President Trump has won Pennsylvania. I've never heard of a count where you're ahead by 400,000 with 80 plus percent counted and they haven't called it for you yet. They called California the moment it came, it opened, the polls closed. How many votes do you have to be ahead to win, for a Republican to win here? How many votes do we have to be ahead? 400,000 is not enough with 80 plus percent counted. I think there's only 14 percent of the vote to go. Do you think we're stupid? You think we're fools? You know something? The Democrats do think you're stupid, and they do think you're fools, and that's why you get called deplorable and chumps. It's over. We're going to stick with this. We're going to win this election. We've actually won it. It's just a matter of counting the votes fairly.